All right, it is time to get the nonsense started for tonight. And I know I'm running a little late, but I have a good excuse. I was looking at Twitter and lost track of time. That that's my excuse. Anyway, let me get the game where it is visible and audible and everything else able. Uh, there we go. For some reason, game, or the... Okay, things are just being weird tonight. That's okay. It's working. Just a little odd. So, last time, I got super distracted with uh, errands. Oh, absolutely. Like, I have been posting all the shit posts ever. And also mocking Mitt Romney, which got my account limited. Which I find kind of hilarious just because it was this. It was one of the nicest tweets I've sent to a Republican. I'm just, just gonna put it like that. <laughs> Anyway, I did some grinding. So now we have two black chocos. I recruited a Marlboro and now I've got a greater Marlboro with bad breath. You know, destroyer of worlds. We've got all the dragons of the rainbow. Oh, and a samurai. Uh, Mustadio is still an orator. Agrius is now a monk with a sword. Well, I mean, the sale isn't final yet, and considering how much his other stocks have lost him, it might fall through entirely. Because Elon Musk is a fucking moron. But, you know. Anyway. Oh. Leonard is now a white mage with a gun. He is... He has fully embraced his role of I'm a healer, but... See. Kaplan has begun... The path of mastering Monk. And he's actually made a... You know what, I'll just... That. He's made quite the dent in it. The lad is still level 8. Isabella has been learning to jump good. Elsby has learned up to Titan, but she is currently stalking JP, you know, that 857. Not because I want to learn Bahamut. Bahamut is on the table, but... Isabella's spear has returned from the war, yes. She, ha she has a mithril spear now. But Elsby is currently waiting to learn quite possibly one of the most OP spell or er, abilities that uh, spellcasters have available to them. Have MP. Just all spells have their costs cut in half. Just all of them. All of them. Alicia is... I forget if I'm working her towards something specific, or if I've just... I just want her to work on Archer. 
But yeah, that... Agrius is actually a monk right now, so she can get to Samurai. Specifically, so she can learn Double Hand. So her... Her Blood Sword can do extra, extra damage. But yeah. Also, Mustadio is... I've just decided he's going to stay as an orator for a while. Like, I do want to give him equipped guns, but also I've been teaching him all the speech craft. Hey. Oh! A speech craft skill that convinces the target that his or her demise is soon at hand. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, and we still have 200 JP to learn Enlighten. Amazing. Okay. I really want Agrius to learn Chakra before uh, moving her up to a different class. What is Samurai's again? Knight level 4, Monk 5, Dragoon 2. So she's got Knight, she's working on Monk. And what does Dragoon require? Thief level 4. She doesn't have access to Thief, which takes Archer 3. Okay, so once she gets Monk up, she needs to swap over to Archer. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Also, I have a couple things. Uh, wonders. I have found Eureka, the Forbidden Land. Which actually reminds me I need to actually do grinding in 14's Eureka. So, you know. And I've found Bulgabard. That's an interesting name, but also this is a uh like I forget where Eureka uh actually originates from since these are all locations from previous uh Final Fantasy games. But Bulgabard is in FF3. Uh, also, I've not found any more artifacts. That's okay. General Silver, Hyper Specialized Shit Lord. I haven't even unlocked the Special Generalist skill or er, class yet. Like, let me pull up the job. Uh, three real quick. Okay, yeah, so. Actually, let me see. Is there anyone close to unlocking it? Squire 3, Chemist 2. So, not Ramza. Squire 3, Chemist 2. Squire 2, Chemist 1. Squire 1, Chemist 2. Squire 2, Chemist 1. Square 3, Chemist 2... So many just 2 and 1s. Mustadio is the closest to unlocking Onion Knight. I think. Well, I mean, Agrius has Holy Knight 8. And Holy Knight... Holy Knight and Machinist for NPCs, you know... Those count as squire for the in the specific units with uh, special classes. But also, Agrius has only has level two chemist. So yeah, Onion Knight requires level six in squire and chemist. Onion Knight can equip any equipment. And in abilities, 
See how the cursor isn't allowed to go up to that first ability? Onion Knights allow you to change that top ability. But, like, it is the true generalist class. But also, while I'm thinking about it, I think it's time I have somebody work towards unlocking the true horror of math. And I think Leonard is probably the closest. Let me actually check. Okay, so. You need White Mage 5. Which. Leonard is at least level 5 White Mage, right? Oh yeah, he's level 8. Okay. Okay, so. White Mage 5. Black Mage 5. Alright, so he has a couple uh, levels there. Time Mage 2, or 4, rather. And Mystic 4. Alright, so... Black Mage and Time Mage are really all Leonard needs to unlock the horror of math. A thief and Archer, Dragoon and Monk. I mean... That is a possibility. And it's like, it's not a bad possibility, but. If it lose math. Okay, you know what? Just because, just for that response, Leonard is going to work on becoming a math man. Okay. You still have your gun. Okay. So. Just for my own uh, record, yeah. Again, it's Mystic 4, Time Mage 4, Black Mage 5, White Mage 5. So. I just need to get Black Mage up to 5, Time Mage up to 4. And then, that's it. Okay. That's actually a lot less than I was expecting. Okay. Also, I have equipment set aside for a Lavian Samurai uh, demonstration, but... I'm gonna go ahead and put a safe state here, just... Even though I haven't actually done anything except swap Leonard's job, but... Also, since Leonard is in the level 30 club, I'm going to hold off on actually using him until the next story beat. So, Kaplan, Bella, Elspie, Lavian, and... Also, Agrius gained, like, three levels in one mission that I was trying to keep her on the fringes of, but nobody would leave her the fuck alone. And so she murdered them all. So, you know, that's why she's a level ahead. Let's see. Do we want to take the Greater Marlboro or the Red Dragon? Also, no Red Chocos. Yet, anyway. You know what, let's go with the Greater Marlboro, since this is an open, mostly flat level. <laughs> okay. You know how bad breath works in other games, right, Nix? How it's usually like 
a party-wide effect that just applies every status possible. Like, I will say it's not a map-wide thing, because that would be... That would be a terror beyond all terror. But I will show off the actual radius it has. I I want to know what rage or range blah, 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 what range you think bad breath is going to have in this. I am genuinely curious. Okay, so Yato, you only know Ashura right now, and we can't reach anyone with it. But yeah, this is basically what Yato does. Every katana has a unique AoE around it. And with the... Uh, it's basically, you know, you release the spirit within the sword, which means there's a chance that the sword can just explode. Which is why I have five. And every katana has something like that. Okay. Chiva will probably be doing the most damage to these things. Are you gonna... Do you, though? Do you? Okay. <laughs> Never exploded. <laughs> Okay, so, I want to just point out, movement range on the Greater Marlboro is just three, you know, fairly standard. Bad breath? Doesn't look like much there, but, you know, actually move. So, yeah, the, the big issue with bad breaths... Uh, targeting is elevation. But it has a radius of three. It can move and inflict all the effects on anything within the same radius. It's just very picky when it comes to elevation. I don't suppose I can aura blast anything. Yeah, no. And then LSB has a spell whiff because I forgot Isabella was jumping on the bomb. Okay, no, it... It has to be within, like, 0.5 elevation. Like, anything above or below uh, has the same effect. Hey, the sword didn't explode. Just go down when that would be nice, but also extremely fucking powerful. Like, way too powerful. I, I do want to give it a chance to actually show off. So I'm just gonna hang back and.
Let them come to my horrid beast. You should, in fact, fear the Marlboro, yes. Wait. I forgot how big this area is. Down here. You're not going anywhere, so I'm going to use Titan on you. Also, did I mention Marlboros are tanky fuckers? Actually, put you here. Yeah, um, they're tanky fuckers. Alright. Let's see how, uh, how much of a bad day this fucker has. Aw, oh, just silence. Boo. I call shenanigans. Okay, but monsters don't technically use magic, is the thing. I had I had I hit the actual black mage, that would have been something, but you know Ah oh, dang it, I can't actually reach up that high. Boo. I just attack. That was the first time I've ever heard that uh, particular audio glitch. What the fuck?
No, it wasn't, actually. Are you on the turn list? He's coming up soon, damn. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, now the question becomes, am I going to reach with bad breath here? No. God damn it. God damn it. There we go. Okay. a one-off. Goddamn. At the very least, I can just jump and remove her from being targeted for a bit. Okay, I was hoping that would actually hurt him, but fuck it, whatever. Because usually healing, you know, hurts zombies. Yeah, RNG is being a bitch. And specifically that fucking mage. You know what, fuck it, I'm loading the state. Let's see him deal with this.
Yeah, pretty much. Oh, also, dragons are tanky as fuck as well. Birds? Birds ain't. Had enough of your bullshit. That's unfortunate, but also monsters are a renewable resource, so I'm not too upset. <laughs> Just random fucking trap. Can't hit anything like that. Get away. Okay. 
70 to you, 115 to you, okay. Skeleton dies first. Blind frog and stone. He's proper fucked. Out, that's gonna put you in range, but yeah, no, okay. There we go, much better. No, it does not. If you're petrified and you're the last unit on the map, you are instantly killed. And, like, that's a, uh, that's a thing that's just been in Final Fantasy for as long as Petrify was a thing. Okay. Now we can actually start using the strong folk. Okay. Um, so you go there. Leonard, you're there. Agrius, you're there. Stadio, there. And... Our final spot... What else be? No, we just left him there. He is now a frog-shaped stone for all eternity, and he's conscious for all of it. Where is he? Where'd he shuffle? Where'd the shuffler steal off to? Hear that? He's on the roof. Oh, that was a woman's voice. Oops. He's part of the decor now. Yup. I'm trapped. It don't do to have strangers sticking their noses in our little hideaway. Then mayhap you might hang a signboard above the door so we would know this is a place of, or this place is a den of thieves. Ha! <laughs> Cole's got brass. Too bad it's steel he'll be wanting. Something is amiss here. A lot of visitors today. Small matter. Stick them all and be done with it. So, this guy is kind of important. You know how I said that the whole game was started by uh, do a, a historian getting a copy of the Ori papers? that the church had locked up in a vault for over a century. Orin is the guy that wrote the Durai papers. So, you know. Kind of important. Yeah, we get a bit of a time paradox if he does. Oh, also, I just want to point out... Look at the range on this thing. And, like, this isn't just a 
pick one square sort of thing. It hits all of them. Like, I, I just want to point that out. What's your brave stat? 54. Okay. Let's... Let's intimidate. Oh, I can't... Okay, fine. I'll just shoot someone. Okay. Somebody put a... Or place your butts. Ramza or the chemist? Who gets shot? Ramza. Oh, God! Oops. Just, oops. <laughs> Not a reset just yet. I, I do have Leonard with healing. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was funny. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the correct response to being shot in the back of the head is to turn around and beat the guy to death, so, I mean, you know. <laughs> that was just so fucking funny. Everything there? Okay there, Twitch. Because, like, I was apparently disconnected from the chat for a second there. Embrace your inner Wolverine, Agrius. Really? I forgot just how fucked the elevation in this map is. So now roughly half the enemies are just immobilized, disabled, and stopped. And then RNG fucked me. Okay, let's try that again. This time, Isabella, you're coming along. Put Agrius there.
take two. Yeah, that's why I'm bringing Isabella along. Like, Dragoons just have a lot more vertical clearance normally. Oop, wrong button. Okay. Okay, it, not gonna lie, it would have been fucking hilarious if Orin had just tackled that guy off the building and he fell to his death. Silence you. Dang, didn't silence. It'll still take her a couple uh, turns to get up there, but it's still a lot faster than otherwise. They... It's okay, I, I just... I just made him braver is all. So there should work, boy. Yes. Damn, these crits! Wrong button. Okay, let's see. The Joyce is way down on the list. Okay. And he's even farther down now.
Okay, plan C. Yeah, just his unwillingness to get off the fucking roof is kind of infuriating. And anyway, I remember this being a thing in the original game, too. Also, it would be nice if he started casting that spell immediately. Surprise, motherfucker. Okay, that will hit him. Oh my god, use your map-wide spell, you dingbat! Okay, you know what? I have decided something. This man has forfeited his right to life.
Unfortunately, knocking him off would probably kill him. I fall damage while rare is very unpredict or unforgiving. Yeah, you'd better fucking run. I have passed judgment, and I have found you... Guilty. So oh, now he starts casting it. And it hit exactly nobody. He's just batting a thousand today. Like, holy Christ. He actually got a kill, holy shit. Are you hurt? I am fine, thank you. My name is Oren Durai, and yours? I am Ramza, Ramza Beowulf. Ramza Beowulf? What of it? It does not, forgive me. Might I inquire as to the direction of your travels? We make for the royal capital, and you? You are welcome to accompany us if our paths are the same. A gracious offer, but I fear my road leads away from Ozalia. I see. Fortune be with you, then. And with you as well. He doesn't even join the party. God's willing, we may meet again. Try to keep yourself alive in the meantime. I will do the best I can.
So that is the only, only time Orin actually shows up in a fight. He is in cutscenes the rest of the game. do you sell here? Rods? Okay. They sell sticks in the mining company. Okay. Nothing interesting there. I still have plenty of Phoenix down. Okay. Can't learn anything new there. Boo. Okay. I may just do level two. Uh. Right, Isabella sat that one out. Get what we need so monk level five is what she needs overall so she's gonna be a monk for a bit okay just so i don't have to do that piece of shit mission ever again Sit, won't you? You surprised me, Ramza. I did not think to see you in Lysalia. Alma is here, you know. I'm sure she'd be delighted to see you. Zalbag, I... Yes? Can you not end this fighting? What nonsense is this? What purpose can it serve? We Baals have never fought, or have ever fought to defend the people, not simply the crown. Yes, Zalbag is one of his brothers. If memory serves, uh, Zalbag is the middle brother, with Dystarg being the eldest and Alma being the youngest of the siblings. And now we fight for no more than our own glory. You speak of things you do not understand, Ramza. It is you who do not understand, brother. All of this this war has been plotted to some unseen purpose. Dukes Larg and Goltana only puppets in some shadowy play. A shadow play? Pray, tell how it ends. I do not know. Our Lord Brother planned the princess's abduction to prevent Duke Goltana from becoming regent. But someone intervened. Princess Ovelia lives and is now in Goltana's care. Had the assassination succeeded, the crown would surely have named Duke Goltana a traitor and rallied its banners against him. You stand here accusing our brother of having some hand in the business with the princess. You think a man of your own blood capable of such a thing? So you knew not of this, Sawbag? Enough. Have you, or who have you become that you do not trust your own family? Gone from my sight. Return to Egros and trouble me no more. You speak of trust, Sawbag, and yet you show me none in kind. 
What have you ever done to inspire my trust? The mistake was my own. Until today, I had looked upon you as a true brother. But your mother's common blood forever stains you common. You are not fit to bear the Beowulf name. Cannot mean that. Forgive me, Lord Commander, but I have urgent news. The Thunder God has broken through our lines at uh, Daguerre Pass. Possible. He was supposed to be at Besselat. Summon the War Council, and all of them. I go at once. Lord! So that went well. At least we've got a new shop. That has nothing new. Actually, what do you sell here then? Daggers. And a couple axes. And they don't even sell the good heavy armor. <laughs> now, whatever gives you that idea, Nyx? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Since I have extremely little recollection of this and what we're getting into. I'm just going to go ahead and go save state there. And then Leonard, you're there. Elsby, you're there. And then Agrius here and Mistadia there. <laughs> I mean, Alma's not a cunt. She's nice. Oh, this one. Mom's awake. I'm sorry, Alma. Do you think to leave without so much as a word? I... I've never been good at goodbyes. You won't be coming back, will you? Delita lives, Alma. What? But how? Help them kidnap the princess. Helped who? At first, I thought it Duke Goltana. That Delita had sided with him to spite us. But now I fear he may be working with people far more dangerous still. It is they who wanted to thwart the plot to assassinate Princess Ovelia. Is it true that Dice Stark planned her abduction? It is. I am sure he had his reasons, but I cannot see them for the blood. Tietra did not share her brother's luck. Listen to me, Alma. I know not who guides Delita's actions, only that they are to be feared. I know not what evil lies at the end of this plot. And Delita serves these people? cannot be sure. I am sure only that Delita has his reasons as well. If only I could know them. You mean to fight them, don't you? I'm coming with you. Are you mad? That's out of the question. I want to help you prove the truth of your words. No, not like this. I would not want 
my daughter to meet the same fate as er, the same fate Tietra has. Alma, please. Rom's a bill, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, but I have you at a disadvantage. I am Confessor Zalmor Lucindiana of the Holy Office of Inquisition. Ramza is kind of dense, yes. I come to bring you before the office on charges of murder of Cardinal uh, Delacroix and suspicion of heresy. You will come with us. Should you resist, you admit your guilt and will be executed as a heretic. If I go with you, I'm only prolonging my death. Must run, Roms, quickly! Then your choice is made. Put this heretic to the sword. So you know how Alma and Ovelia uh, hung out at Orban? She has her own specific magic that she taught to Uvalia. Ah, I can't reach anyone. Boo. Why? <laughs> Believe me, I wish I could. I really wish I could recruit Alma, but like Ovelia, she is too powerful for the party. Also, I forget. Celebrant is a unique class for this guy. The Celebrant Jumpman unleashes spirit forces obtained through the darkest of contracts. Powerful Celebrant selected from scores of his peers, he will stop at nothing to hunt down and eliminate heretics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it super wrong. Okay. Well, that means I just have to lean into it more. <laughs> so... That spell that Ovelia has... Yeah, um... She just put it on me. <laughs> super wrong and super right. Amazing.
Wow, 12 damage. Good job, lady. Ah, I can't shoot over the right. Uh, let's see, speechcraft. And I can't reach Agrius, so... Preach a Delsby. Delacroix, okay. I'll still be pronouncing Delacroix because... I, I, now I'm just leaning into it. Titan, can you reach? No. Okay. Worth a shot. Well, uh, yeah, no. Same range. Boo. Yes, I am dragging this out as as long as possible just for the experience in JP since I know I only have to kill Mr. In Inquisitor Man. Yes, heal, that I might shoot you more.
This is a very white spell. <laughs> Okay, now, where are you casting? Okay. There we go, we'll take the free heal. Oh, he blocks that, okay. Thanks for the heal, dude. Here's your reward. He just blocks all statuses. That's dumb. He's status proof, is the thing. Your violence against us is as violence against the gods. It is not too late. Repent of your sins. Repent and be spared. You name me a heretic, but why? What have I done? So you pretend ignorance. You slew Cardinal Delacroix to gain the orosite he held and offer to whatever hellspawn you profane to call a god. You could not be more wrong. Legends of your holy orosite are lies. The stones are magicite. They hold in them power for evil. The cardinal used his power, or used this power, and it perverted him into one of the Lukavi. It is. N is it not enough that you murdered Cardinal Delacroix? Must you now slander his name as well? Or is the pity? You will only see the name Beowulf washed away in tears. Well, I mean, the leg shot was a status effect. I was trying to immobilize him. Now, if I'm just shooting him... I kind of want to turn this guy into a chicken. Shouldn't be that hard. Also, Alma, you need some more uh, MP, so have some MP. Ramsa, you must! Those summoned before the office do not return. I will not flee while you remain, Alma. I would not see the name you a traitor with me, and staying you risk your own life. I will not leave you to fight this battle alone. See, Alma's a good sister. Okay. 
I may not be able to immobilize you formally, but you ain't going anywhere, buddy. Mother was a hamster. Wow, he's even immune to chicken. I'm shocked. Ah, she's not dead. She's just getting poked a lot. Also, am I stalling to farm JP? Maybe just a little. Ah, uh, I can't actually kill him, boo. Heretics who profane the gods must still face their justice. You will yet meet yours. Yeah, yeah. Ramza, you're all right. As are you. I'm glad. Uh, none of this makes sense. How could the Office of Inquisition have learned of the Orsite? Could the Church of Glabados be the ones supporting Dalita? What do they hope to gain? Ramza, you mentioned Orsite. Have you truly seen the stones of er, from the legend? If Orsite is real, then... I think I might have seen it once, too. What? Where? First, you have to promise that you'll take me with you. Persist in this? Do you think I would risk putting you in such peril again? I will not take you with me. Then I have nothing more to say. Just this once we've dismantled their entire church, killed all the clergy, and stomped on their god's head. Okay, we're not going that far? Like, the church does survive, unfortunately. Like, that much was uh, established in the opening. Like, the church covered all this up. 
not act the child. Your very life is in danger. I should think it is. I've acted against the Office of Inquisition. Surely I am a heretic in their eyes. They will come for me as well as, or as they do for you. And when they do, do you think Diastar will protect me? You would never do anything that might endanger House Beowulf. No, I'm sure our dear brother would not. But you cannot come with me. The danger is too great. You must explain everything to Zalbag and beg forgiveness of the church. The one I saw, it was in Orban. A crystal enga engraved with the likeness of a virgin maid. Virgo. I must reach it before they do. Thank you, Alma. Now go to Zalbag and do as I have said. And just how do you think to enter the monastery? You're a heretic, remember? Do you think you will be welcome at Orban? Ah. Uh. So you need me after all? See, I, I love Alma. She's She is far smarter than her brother. Fine, but only until we reach Orban. When it is done, you will come home. I promise. I will hold you to it. Okay. Now, she is technically in the party, but she doesn't actually show up in any fights. I'm taking all her gear. Abilities, let's see. Monk is still three. Boo. Leonard, how are you looking? I mage three. Boo! Okay. Zolbag isn't the one he's accusing of conspiracy. Dice Darg is. That's to say, it's not a better idea to leave her with Zolbag. Because Zolbag is, you know, the full brother of Dice Darg. It's just... He's not the brightest, but he's trying. Okay, what... I believe is something completely different than what Ramza believes. I just want to point that out. I I know shit. I've beaten this game before. Go can't learn chakra. Boo. I'm just saying. These are both level 31, but this one has more experience, so. <laughs> Ramza is still a dumbass, yes. Okay, let's see. Aaron's old top as well. Density of a neutron star. Yes. All right. There's a hidden vein of ore in the long abandoned mine, or er, long abandoned coal dam mine. Otapa, former manager of the mine, said as much in his last will and tell testament. So I know it's true. Okay. No, oh, you're a nerd, you nerd. Okay, let's see. And Kaplan, Bella, and Lavian for this. Okay. I am going to do more 
tavern stuff here, because if memory serves, some NPCs start showing up if you do various errands. Don't forget your warp wires, what? You're, you're a nerd. Also, Nyx, go eat. Let's see. Experience the mysteries of the open ocean in our salvage expedition. Sunken treasure may await the Inquisitive. Prices start at 3,000 gil, meals included. And in mine, the discover what lies beneath the Earth's surface in our abandoned mine expedition. Wow. This is less an, uh, less an adventurer's guild and more a tourist guild. Okay, let's see. I don't have enough uh, physical people. You run out, you drown. I mean... Okay, let's see. A mix should be good for this one, so... The Leonard... Jimmy and LSB. Cry, are you just have you been taken over by video game advisor? Like you're being a a bigger nerd than normal. Okay, now to walk back and forth for a bit. Twelve of thirteen, okay. That's eleven of fourteen. Only Oma Chow. Okay, then. I can't hear the report from the place that they did not uh, d embark from, so... Report! And mines. Looking good so far. Oh, I know who Oma Chow is. Okay. No more errands there, so... Back up here. Errands. You should post at me even when I'm not on Twitch, but you know that's beside the point. But but we just we just dumped or fished up the white materia, so you know that's a thing. Like I'm not even joking; it's actually the white material. <laughs> Actually, wait, how is this? Zero fourteen. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Is that a harmonica? I, that looks like a harmonica. Or a petrified stick of gum. I'm not sure. And yeah, I I fished up the white materia from the bottom of the sea. On a tourist attraction. Inavia Chronicles. Okay. Yeah. Artifacts. White materia. These stones developed by the ancient Ceronians are the result of experiments in storing knowledge within gems for later generations. They are said to enhance the abilities of the possessor. Okay. An account of uh, of Kus Castle in the region of Inavia. Sections of importance are penned in an ancient script now indecipherable. The story of three sisters is documented within. Okay. It, it's just in here. It's just flavor text. Like, the artifacts and wonders don't actually have any... I mean, in FF7 it is. But I've already learned wholly on Leonard. But, like, the wonders and artifacts are just here basically to be fan service. And also, I think there are a couple of side quests locked behind how many artifacts or how many wonders you've got. Yeah, anything new here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of why I've been attempting to do as much of the errands as possible. I mage. Agria still needs to level up monk. I need to thin out the monster herd. Audio still has some stuff to learn in Orator. There we go. Not just a, not just a fucking Marlboro. We've got one Marlboro and a greater Marlboro. You know what? Since you haven't seen him. Let's put Amplos into a fight. Also, because I have PTSD of this place now. Two birds, a summoner, a skeleton, and a minotaur. Okay. There we go, that's the way I want it. So, let's see. Now, is Divine Ruination gonna hit? Or reach? Just barely. Hell yeah. I mean... He can still use Bad Breath on command, so... Probably not.
Also, let's just take a second to appreciate this. I love how haste affects his animation cycle. He's like, just so angry. That's not gonna be able to reach with bad breath, but got tentacles at least. That also can't reach. Eh. Elevation is a cruel mistress. Leonard still needs some MP, so I can still get uh, JP off of Chakra. No, we just need to nerf elevation is the thing. Done fucked up now, buddy. Just fucking petrified. Speaking of, This audio's fucking dead. That's okay, though. I have rays. Not that I needed it. Oh, 
wrong menu. I just love that Alma is down here, surrounded by chocobos and dragons. But also, I, I do need to start clearing out some of these. Level 4. Go away. One, I'll keep. 31, okay. I want at least two chocobos. Because that means the, that's more likely to be a chocobo. And if that's a chocobo egg, that's kind of a big deal. Green dragons, especially low level green dragons, I do not need. 31 compared to 30. I only need the one Marlboro. Since normal Marlboro don't actually know bad breath. Okay. Also. Okay. First month. There it is. Your vacation. Life font. That's what I want. Okay. Now that I've got that, what do I want Ramza to do next? I could make him an orator and then have him dual wield pistols. Like, that actually sounds kind of badass. But no, he's... He is definitely a physical attacker. I, I could just do an all-guns party, but that would take so much or so long to actually kill anything. Make him a baker? I don't think that's a, an option, unfortunately. You know what? Go back to Ninja for now. Let's... I mean, I could make Dante. Just like, unfortunately, it, making Ramza dual-wield guns in Orator wouldn't have the same uh, regenerative properties as Dante. Give you poach for now. The Koosh. I'm not sure how I would do that, to be perfectly honest. Except maybe having a ninja dual wield guns. Time Mage, and you're still only level 3, Time Mage. Murder <laughs> kills a man for two, 32 damage, even when that's friendly fire? With this. So, Cry, what you're explain or describing is a gun ninja. Okay. Got that. I think I'm going to swap you over to Geomancer now.
Ignore elevation is really good. Oh, hey. <laughs> also, what do I need again for math? I forget. Mystic 4. So she's only level 2 there. White Mage 5. Almost ready for that. High Mage 4. Which is what we got. And Black Mage 5. So really she only needs one White Mage and... What was it? Four Mist... So one White Mage, two Mystics. Got who's going... I mean... Both of them can. So, let's see. You only need one white mage. So let's do that first. Okay. Can you learn any new... No, I've already... Right, okay. Derp. Okay. Okay, now I get to go around and start buying shit again. So... Save state so I don't accidentally fuck myself over on the way back through the mon the desert. Buy mittens for the Greater Marlboro. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, you can't uh, give monsters gear. Also, since that unequipped... Oh, no! It's happened! So. First, I need to give you the Blood Sword back. All right. Ben, it was nice knowing you. But your services are no longer necessary. Red Comet lives. I mean, this guy is the only monster name I've actually changed. And that's mainly because of this. Sundowner? No. I, I get the reference for Sundowner, but at the same time, it's... Char is the OG Red Comet. Okay, let's see. Since, for some reason, this wants me to keep the Iron Foil and I'm not keeping it.
the There we go. <laughs> okay. Again, PTSD because of this fucking desert. Okay. No, I am not using f maces. They are just too unpredictable. So I should probably start buying up more katanas. I have five Ashura, so let's go five Kotetsu. Just five of all the uh, katanas I can afford. Explosion purposes, yes. Okay. Ape state. Cavern. Nothing there. Okay. You know, it's like they know I have a red chocobo now, and everything's afraid to attack me. The Garland Magic Melee. You'll want magic users for this, but you knew that, right? Have confidence in your command of the magical arts. Put your money where your magic is and enter our 13th annual competition. Again, save state because... I'm... very paranoid about this sort of stuff. Else be... And lad. Hopefully Leonard and Elsby can uh carry him. I the the errands are more job related than level, but still. Different ancient tones, blah blah blah. Oh right, this, okay. Go Kaplan, Alicia, and Flavian for this one. Okay. Also, just because. Anything here. Right, I need to... I need to get somebody up to Bard for that. Now I'm just tempting the game. Okay, that's 10 of 16, and... Okay. They fear the red... Char the red comet. Alright, let's see. How did the magic melee go?
Oh. I accidentally sent the secret unit for this. So yeah, there are secret jobs that are that effectively guarantee success if you send them on specific uh, jobs. Is that a pipe? I think that's a pipe. Yeah, just straight up a tobacco pipe. All right, let's see how the stolen tomes go. So, I, I want to point out that we were sent out to sea to recover stolen tomes, and we just looted the ship. <laughs> okay. Still level 4 time mage, and I need... Uh... Oh, well, level four is what I need. So I need mis level four mystic. Which I have. Level five, black and white. Okay, so black mage is what he needs to work on next. But we've got level four time and mystic, so... Give him stop. Swap you over to Black Mage. Okay. Mage level four, so you're still one level white, white mage level away from what I need. Might help if I actually give you some healing spells, though. So since I want... Okay. Real quick. Any new... Okay, no new errands. Wow, the game really doesn't want to incur the wrath of the Red Comet. Oh, the humanity. It was a trade vessel called the Hindenburg. Went down some 16 sectors into the Bay of Obel. Professional salvage guild service come too dear. Or er, service come too dear, so they're looking for someone to do it on the cheap. Okay, so... Kaplan. Isabella. And Lavian on this. Zound Embassy Antiques. A number of valuables were donated to the Zound Embassy were lost when the ship carrying them sunk in a storm. Valuable antique treasures were among them. Okay, so I want the other team on this one. Laura Mine has gone under. The mine's operations are up for grabs. People speculate the workers up and abandoned the veins they were mining. Okay. Yeah, I... These are all physical errands, so... 
in safe state because PTSD is a real thing. The Dawn Queen. One of, one of our trade ships. So many ships go go under out here. Is this is this just slightly north of the Sea of Thieves? For fuck's sake! Dawn Queen has sunk thirty-five sectors into the Bay of Sigista. Please raise the vessel for us. Note the Dawn Queen was carrying one of our president's most treasured products. Okay. I recently re received the following note. Please put a stop to this brigand's foul plans, Viscount Barfire. My dear Vi uh, Viscount Barfire, I will soon be coming for your beloved treasures, Zero. Okay, Leonard. Mime and Elspy. My little carrot. Find my darling pet. She has been missing for a number of days, and I am beside myself with worry. I will reward anyone who finds her. She is a Marlboro that answers to the name of Carrot. She keeps a Marlboro as a pet. Okay. Got the fifteen year of nine. Oh hey! It's our first chance to put the red comet in. Send an Agrius as backup, because I actually don't want to lose Char. So. But I also want to show him off. Unfortunately, he's not actually three times faster than everyone else. But he is pretty fucking fast. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. But that will. Oops. I didn't realize Char was going to get hit by that.
that'll work. And I got the confused. Nice. Forcing his buddies to waste a turn smacking them. Good thing breath attacks don't need to worry about accuracy. So that's two kills to Char's name. And Marlboros just float, because of course they do. kills <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Like, quite demonstrably, since we have demonstrated that Ramza cannot, in fact, float. On water, at least. For now. Kills. So of that fight, of the six possible kills, Char got four of them. And the dragons got the other two. Like, yes, Char was mainly uh, finishing guys off, but still. Stop trying to make maces happen. Actually, Alicia, you need some archer experience. Now 
And lad, you just you just need experience. Now watch him die. I'm betting. That's a lot of chocos. A shame they're all gonna die. We're eating chicken tonight, boys. Clever, they spaced them out just enough to avoid a meteor. For now, anyway. Yeah, there is only one red comet. Because there can only be one. I swear to God, if Char dies here. So we have three turns to murder everything. I'm just gonna load. We're going- we- that got us sent back in time a little bit, but it's worth it. <laughs> you, you cry you say that you say that like it's the only one let me guess you turned it over just skipped the maze entirely I have not seen anyone not do that, to be perfectly fair. Like, that maze is kind of infamous. Nice little hop, yeah.
Just be sure to reset the maze to something you can actually walk on. Since there are treasure chests in there. Oh, you got the chest first. Okay. That's smart. I mean, you've seen what Char did. They know exactly what they did to have their sins cleansed. <laughs> you think 10 is the worst? Y you should see the Red Comet in 14, Cry. Like, the Red Comet in 14 is a war crime. Oh, I know. Let me put it this way, though, Cry. In FF14, the Red Comet could eat Sin. I, I am not being funny at all. Like, the Red Comet is infamous because like the entire encounter with him is one red chocobo standing in the center of a circle effectively dancing while an army of other chocobos that you can't reach rain constant meteors on you well see Nix, this is why I'm specifying the Red Comet. Because in 14, the Chocobo's name is literally just the Red Comet. Char is the superior comet. How are we doing on unlocking samurai? 
Not close. Can learn chakra though. That's important. Okay. What does she need for samurai again? Monk five. So just one more level of monk. Knight four, which she's got. And dragoon two, which in turn needs thief four, which in turn needs archer three. Okay. I just need one level of monk and then swap her to archer. Yep. All right. Or fifteen, two of nine. Save because paranoia is real. take Mustadio along. He might be able to entice somebody. Who bombs? <laughs> And I can't even blame Shin Megami Tensei this time. I mean, I could, but I won't. Okay. Six. And 41. Okay, you first. Casually almost one shot a Choco on a counter. Oh wow, okay. Well, Karna is low on the list, so Char can afford to target something else.
It was very nice. Okay. Nobody is exploding. Good. I see this Choco has embraced its death. But we can't have that level of courage. There's no escape for you, Choco. Only death from above. And the side. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh, neat. That is, okay, I just need one more day for that. Black. He's still only level three. Boo. And she's still level four. White. Dang. It did say Hindenburg. I I've got a team that's out just salvaging the Hindenburg. Oh, the huge manatee, yup. Kaplan. Bella. Flavian. Again, I don't have enough for that. Okay. Send Alicia. Elsby. And Leonard after the ball broke. Actually, I'm gonna save just in case this goes tits up. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, Vlad, I need you to actually start pulling your weight. Marlboros have tits. I don't think so. Like, I think they're plants. I learned my lesson last time. Bar needs to hang back a little bit so he doesn't get surrounded. Yes, Cry? I mean, yeah. They can. If, like, I'm not... I'm not saying that. I'm saying I don't think in the game they do also i definitely saw that name and at first thought it said omega for some reason i was about to be very very confused Logic. i mean yes but Can I get a shot through here? No. Okay. Actually, wait. Reach it, lad. Char gets turned next, so. See that kill. Well, Char moves on to the next. You just should have splash damage, yeah. I believe the Time Mage version of Meteor does have splash damage. But I'm not a hundred percent on that.
Okay, so all the Chocos get a turn before any of the spells go off, so... Aim for you. See what happens. Lad's about to shock himself to death, isn't he? Oh wow, he survived! I'm shocked! <laughs> so is he. <laughs> I apologize for nothing. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do plot. Like, we've got Char. Char can handle anything that, you know, my unavailable units would bring. Once we actually get there. Chocobo from hell itself, yup.
Also, I'm starting to get hungry. No tiles within movement range. Wow. Okay. Then again, I really shouldn't be hungry, considering the lunch I had. Wait, I got Dairy Queen today for lunch. Had a caramel fudge cheesecake blizzard. It was fucking good. Also a couple chili dogs. No, you're Patrick. Wow. And plus is getting a lot of experience in these fights. I'm so serious about that. Oh, come on! I just want to do plot! I can't hug through the internet. I'm not the lawnmower man. You should take that up with the lawnmower man. He's a lawnmower. And a man. I think I'm going to put Brawler back on Ramza.
Okay. Now you can shrink. Still just one level off, god damn it. Okay. Elder Simon! Elder, speak to me! Oh, Lady Oma! What, what are you doing here? Never mind that, what happened here? You must leave this place at once, child. It is not safe. And have come seeking the stone. Zodiac stone? And it is as Alma said. The Virgo stone is one of of the crown jewels of Ivelisse. It was given into our keeping when Lady Ovelia was brought here for her fosterage as proof of her ro royalty. And the ones come to take it, who are they? You are Alma's elder brother, Amza, was it not? I beg you, my son, leave them be. Block their way and they will only cut you down. Where's the bloody stone? Patience, it's in here somewhere. We only need, or we need only look harder. Come, this leads to the lower vaults. I am branded a heretic and hunted by the church. Am I to assume the stones I now possess are the reason? Who are these men? Please, I must know. Very well. I confessor Marshall and his followers seek to restore the church to prominence. As a first step, they set Dukes Larg and Goltana against one another to whittle down their military might. The longer the fighting lasts, the weaker the Dukes become, and the more the people lose their faith in the crown. By gathering the zo stones and reviving the Zodiac Braves, what did they hope to gain from such a show? The support of the people, of course. Truly? The Cardinal used his stone to infuse himself with the strength of, a, of the Lukavi. If such is the power of the Zodiac Stones, it is a power to rival that of any army. Is that strength not what the High Confessor seeks? You are unlike your brothers. You remind me a great deal of your late Lord Father. You, you may well have what is needed to put a stop to their ambitions. Wait here, I'm going after them. And I with you. We cannot leave Elder Simon here alone. Find a safe place to hide. Wait there with him until I return. Very well. I shall leave the Orosite with you, lest the worst befall me. If I return... Can't, er, if I fail to return, cast it into the Burgos Sea. It pains me that I can do more, or er, do no more at times like this. How oh, I wish I'd been born a man like you. Don't be ridiculous. Who would I ever turn to if I didn't have my little sister? Ramsa. Take Elder Simon to safety. I mean, they've got to get through me first. So, you know, there's that. 
And I have the power of anime and char on my side. Also, just because. Hold this passage until our return. Sir! We must put them to route. They cannot be allowed to take the stone. Oh shit, they've got a red chocobo with them! You look like a fuckboy. Yes, he does. You know what these guys look like, though? Fucked boys. Aw, oh, they're out of elevation range. Actually, no. Put... They look like Cinder. Pretty close! That guy just embraced death. You know, I'm just noticing I'm severely overleveled for the plot missions. Damn it. Like, these guys are still in their low 20s. And we're all 30. Passing <laughs> meter to everything that moves. <laughs> So note to self, wearing metal plate armor and standing in thunder breath, not a good idea.
But what does attack do? How much damage are we talking? Yeah, I'll take the damage. Six. Six. Fifty-six. Damn. He has no elemental weaknesses. be fine. Yeah, see, he's fine. Took that like a champ. Choco Meteor melting his face off. I mean, fair. even slow char down. So, this is Virgo. What a beautiful maiden she is. The lower vaults, quickly. I love that sprite of the chocobo staring directly into the camera highlights just how much it sees straight through your soul. go. Now I can start throwing extra uh, equipment that I don't need. Still only level 4, monk. Three hundred is the last thing for his uh, thing. Also, there. Name is Isliud. I do not recognize that from anything else.
The mongrel foes are sent. They have it is for the best. Heretic! I shall have the stones you carry. You will have an offer of mercy and not more. Lay down the stone you've taken and you may flee with your lives. I have no more need for your mercy than for you. If you want the stone, come and claim it. That's right. Oh, okay. Chance of just straight up petrification. Take it. Ah, uh, didn't take. Boo. Right, he's a Dragoon. A Dragoon wannabe, at least. Yes. Yes, we are. Don't think too hard on it. the meaning of chill. Least of all in Breath of the Wild. I just wait until you fully upgrade something. Also, let's take a look at our foe. Nightblade. Fearsome warrior steeped in the dark power to which he is bound. He cleaves enemies with a ghastly glowing blade. Arts of war and jump. He doesn't have a special ability. Okay. Alright. And that's not of any note as far as, like, actually giving a fuck about getting it.
I mean, that's just the fairies in a nutshell. I don't suppose I've got a clean shot on this guy. No, okay. Just be sure to let her do her full animation once per level, because rank 2 is a different animation from rank 1, etc. I'm sure you knew that already, but I just wanted to be sure. That'll kill him. Severely hurt him. Okay, yeah, everyone gets a swing at him. Curious. Eh. Twenty-one. A twenty-four. Those are only, like, 60% to hit. I'll take the guaranteed kill. You're the nerd, you nerd.
Why do you persist in this fool resistance, Ramza? You are Beowulf! Why do you... Why do you not heed your brother's counsel? Why? It is because I am a Beowulf. I do, I do not heed them. Beowulf name stands for truth and justice. It is not a tool to be used for selfish gain. My Lord Father fought and died defending our people against Ordalia in the Fifty Years' War. House Beowulf cannot, turn, cannot now turn on its purpose and fight for the entrance of interests of a corrupt crown and self-serving aristocracy. Then let it fight for ours. What we wish for is the same. Hear me, Ramza. The Church of Glad er, Glebatus envisions a world devoid of class divides, a world where all men can live as equals. Santa Jora spoke of such a utopia. It is the promised land he foretold. Fear and doubt worry the hearts of the people leaving small room for fealty. You see this? Ivelis lists Ramza and threatens to founder. Should we fail to right her course, the storm will claim her. It is you who churn the waves. You orchestrate this entire conflict. You claim, you claim war to be the proper cause for Ivelis? Change does not come without cost. Revolution requires martyrs, and we require revolution. The crown is rotten, the nobility corrupt. They must be made to pay. The people deserve their justice. Help us deliver it to them, Ramza. Join us as your once friend Delita has. I mean, we joke about how dense he is, but at least Ramza sees through this. There. I mean, we're doing the Shakespearean thing, Cry. Drama is kind of our bread and butter. Okay, so Mustadio, you're gonna have to take one for the team, bud. I will not be bested by this heretic. But nor will I risk death for honor here. Delivering the stone is of far greater import. Know this, Ramza. The day of our next meeting will be your last. Isilod, wait. Isilod, however you pronounce your name. Fucker, get back here. <laughs> Stadio. Congratulations, Miss Stadio. You're the first to master a class. Easy loot? Close enough. I mean, yeah. So now the question becomes what should he work on next? I think I know what I'm going to set him as. Okay. And he's got a shield now. Finally, Monk 5. Okay, so now we need to work on getting you over to Dragoon. 
which requires thief. Yep. Which requires archer. Agrius is an archer, but still wielding a sword. Isolude, I will secure the monastery. Take the girl and go. Come on, no need to struggle. Ramza, help! <laughs> so, Ramza Belv is here. Do not be deceived by his youth. He is a worthy foe. Gird yourselves well for battle. Expecting backup, okay? Also, have a sword in your face. Also, I am just going straight after Wegraf because this fucker has the same spell list as Agrius, and I don't want to mess with that. No, Yuda, you will soon be avenged. Like so. Yeah, just the fact that he has a spell that potentially can one-shot anyone is kind of ridiculous. Yep, this is the guy that ran the Corpse Brigade back in Chapter 1. Oh. Damn it, I can't reach him with that. If I can kill Wegraf before, uh, before Char explodes, we'll get him back, so. Wegraf, you live? 
I have lived for this, Ramza. How long has it been since we last met? And you were a warrior who fought to make your... Er, then you were a warrior who fought to make your dream reality. Now, you are only a thrall of the church. What troubled sleep have you known to speak of my dreams? No matter how sweet, a dream left unrealized must fade into day. Only with power can we can dreams be made real. I see the truth of it now. What good dreams without that power? You think me a thrall? So be it. Your, in your envenomed words sucker me, for when at last you yield, as you must, their poison will consume you. Yeah, about that. I've got two fists with your name on it, buddy. Also, Mike Durgan says hi. Do not think you've won. I hold the Zodiac Stone Ares. I will not fall so easily. Damn you, Weegraf. So Char is fine. He hasn't expired. He just took a nap. Weegraf, you're wounded! Go. Do not tarry here for me. Alma! Go, Easelwood. Forgive me, Weegraf. Yes, it would wait! <coughs> Is this how it ends? Have failed, Miljuda. Failed them all. Bitter draught. So much left undone. Godstone Bear. With me now do treat. Horsight, it speaks? Godstone bearer, with me now do treat. Your spirit and my flesh as one shall merge. Life undying is yours forevermore. Is this the stone's great secret? Your ire and despair, their call I heed. And so once more I ask, with me do treat. Egraf, no, it means to deceive you. Help me, I beg you. The Gigas Belias have I been named. Your plea to answer now, my only wish. Is this the wonder of the Oracite? Egraf? Magnificent! The power of the gods! Nay, not only power, so much more. Sights unknown, I see. My mind a vessel filled with wisdom of a thousand years. <laughs> you hurry towards your end. Alas, too soon. Such power. 
power. Such power! Elder, what... what are you doing? I... I had to bring you this. A book? Written by a man named Germanique, one of Saint Adora's disciples. It was lost for a great many years. Only recently did I discover it among the stacks of our reliquary beneath the monastery. It chronicles the true tale of the Zodiac Braves. No details omitted. Please, Elder, you'll tire yourself. I am already so very tired. I have lived a life of sin. All these years I have turned a blind eye as the church rotted with corruption. With this book you can expose their misdeeds. You can win Alma's freedom. Please, Elder. It is done. My mind is now at ease. Rest, Ramza. Depends on you. You really are the very image of Barnabeth in his youth, you know? Elder Simon, no! Let's see. Where is it? Oh, let's see. Oh, that's... Oh. Derp and derp. I never knew about that. Hey, where is it? I think this is it? Yeah. A historical account of Santa Jor's life reco recorded by his disciple Germanique. It is, its very existence has long been denied. I opened the scriptures of Germanique entrusted to me by Elder Simon and began to leaf through the pages. The words before my eyes were written a holy script of the ancients. Several illustrations were scattered throughout, but many pages were missing or damaged, and the script was exceedingly difficult to decipher. I was deeply curious as to what knowledge lay within. As I was turning pages, faintly penned letters in modern evolution script occasionally caught my eye. Notes of an explanatory nature had been added here and there throughout the book. I wondered who might have written them. Judging by the faded ink, some entries were more than a decade old, while others seemed to have been penned only in the last few days. As I touched my finger to one of them, the writing smeared, the ink had yet to fully dry. Every note was written in the same hand, Elder Simon's, I suddenly realized. He must have devoted a significant portion of his life to deciphering these scriptures, line by painstaking line. I relied heavily on his fragmentary notes as I continued reading. Apparently the Holy Script had been recorded by Germanique, a disciple of Santa Jora. Germanique. The name struck a half-familiar chord, half-forgotten as history lessons rose unbidden in my mind. And then I remembered. Germanique was the disciple who had betrayed his master, turning him over to the Holy Yodoran Empire. I was astounded that a er, Librem penned by the same Germanique from my history lessons now rested in my very hands. I could hardly contain myself as I turned the pages. And then I was assaulted by a shock far greater than the realization that I, had, that I held a priceless historical artifact. Originally I had thought the book to be no more than a collection of Saint Adora's teachings as recorded by Germanique. However, or how unprepared I was to learn what it truly contained. This tome served as an account of Saint Adora's life. Saint Ajor described within was a considerably different nature of, than the man about whom we have all been taught. 
I'd always known Santa Jora was no ordinary mortal. My faith in the Church of Glabatus was not as profoundly complete as that is of my Lord Brother Zalbag, yet I did believe that Santa Jora was a child of the gods, descended from the heavens to deliver humanity from its self-inflicted chaos. Or should I say, had believed. All I had thought immutable was shattered upon reading the scriptures. Saint Jora's birth name came in the midst of a golden age of technology, or came, bleh, when airships yet plied the skies. He was born in Lasalia, in the city of uh, Bervenia. Moments after his birth, he rose to his feet and approached a well. Upon reaching its base, words of prophecy poured from his poured forth from his infant lips. A calamity shall soon befell this well. Seal it up at once, that none may drink of it. Some days later, the Black Death visited the town of, town of Bervinia, and all those who drank the well's tainted water succumbed to the plague and perished. Only those families who heeded the prophetic words of Santa Chora were spared from death and malady. After the incident with the well, the people came to revere Santa Chora as a portent of miracle and a child of the gods. But it was not until he reached the age of 20 that Santa Chora would become the savior of Ivalice and take his place among the gods of, in paradise. Ivalice was not always united as it is today. Long ago, the, the realm was divided into seven kingdoms. Bovaham, Lionel, Limberry, Lasalia, Galion, Zeltinia, and Milond. Each warred with the others in a never-ending struggle to expand its own territory. This conflict had continued for centuries until an ambitious young king rose to power in Milond. This young monarch dreamed of uniting all of Ivalice under his hand, but the road to victory was a difficult and dangerous one. The king turned to ancient tomes and the dark magics found within, summoning a demon from the netherworld to do his bidding. Different plague, Nix. <laughs> but, once unleashed, the demon slew the king and set out to destroy the very world itself. To combat this monstrosity, a great hero set out on a quest. Together with his twelve disciples, he collected the Zodiac Stones that had been scattered throughout the world, and the Zodiac Braves were born again. Zodiac Braves soon defeated the creature's minions and banished the demon back to its infernal plane, for this, become, for this becoming known as the saviors of our world. The story is now a well-known legend. The Zodiac Braves have since appeared whenever the world has balanced on the brink of catastrophe, only to vanish as quickly as once the crisis has been averted. Different kind of Black Death. This, this is the slightly gray Black Death. <laughs> Similar catastrophe threatened the world of, in the time of Santa Jora. The King of Limberry summoned a demon in hopes of seizing control of all of Ivalice, and once again plunged the world into chaos. And just as in the legend, Saint Adora collected the twelve Zodiac Stones, and once again the Zodiac Braves rose to defeat the marauding demon. However, the sovereigns of any age have small tolerance for the interference of well-meaning heroes. Fearing the charismatic saint's growing influence, the Holy Yadoran Empire dispatched soldiers to capture him and his devoted followers. Barisim was the, pre the prevalent religion of the day. That. Words. And its priests feared Adora's growing influence. Ultimately, Germanique, the 13th disciple, was tempted by sordid coin, offering vital information that led to his master's capture. The saint was executed upon the gallows of Golgolanda Gal soon thereafter. But lest we forget, Saint Jorah was a child of the gods. The wrath of the heavens was swift and terrible. Immediately following the execution, 
Moland, the center of the forest teachings, was visited by a terrible cataclysm and sank into the sea. Saint Ajora then ascended to paradise to take his rightful place among the gods. This was the legend with which I was familiar, the very same tale told to every child of Ivalis. But the Saint Ajora described within the scriptures of Germanique was a different man altogether. Ajora was no child of the gods. He was a mere mortal, no more divine than you or I. He was a revolutionary who fought to realize his own ambitions. He was no lover of peace, no hero would sacrifice himself for the good er no hero who would sacrifice himself for the good of humanity. Germanique wrote of him. As the founder of a new religion with a rising number of followers, Ajora has, was seen as no more than a nuisance to the empire. But Ajora was apparently more than just a religious founder. He was a saboteur who infiltrated enemy states to collect information and sow disorder. As Judas was right, actually. Pretty much. Though the allegory isn't one-to-one. -one, which I think is interesting. Because like many other stories from Japan when it comes to drawing parallels with Christianity, there's a bit of Shiro of Amakusa uh, weaved in there as well. Ajora was a spy dispatched to the Holy Adoran Empire by a rival state. Whatever he claimed to be, it was, er, it was fact that the Empire began to fear this upstart's growing influence. Germanique was employed to collect evidence that would allow the Empire to arrest Ajora as a spy. The Thirteenth Disciple was in reality no more than the Empire's instrument in a play to uncover Ajora's true intentions. It seems that Ajora indeed attempted to reassemble the Zodiac Braves. Germany confronted it, or confirmed in his writings that Ajora even discovered some of the stones. But what was his purpose in seeking them? I do not know if the young king of Limberry actually summoned a demon. At the very least, I have failed to encounter even a single line within the scriptures that uh, records the event. Yet, catastrophe did befall Moland at the time of Ajora's death. According to the scriptures, the bulk of the city sank into the sea. The footnotes provided further enlightenment. They expressed a different view. No doubt the personal opinion of Elder Simon. Although many spoke of their existence, none have ever set eyes upon these scriptures of Germanique. Some might say they are fraudulent, written with, a, with the sole purpose of discrediting Saint Jorah. But I know this tome to be authentic. When I served as an inquisitor for the church, many others in the Holy Office feared the existence of this work. And the, same is in, and the same is no doubt true for the High Confessor. They were all fearful of these writings, for everything contained within them is fact. Roland was fort all. <laughs> After St. Jorah's death, the church, or the church, which had capitalized on his considerable influence to seize power for itself, had only one task, to conceal his true nature as a human being. This one fact had to be erased from the annals of history. They needed to ensure that Saint Ajora be remembered as a child of the gods. Their use of the Zodiac Braves, a legend believed throughout Ivalis, was a stroke of genius. It was a simple feat to convince the people that Saint Ajora had led the Zodiac Braves to defeat a demon, a, div a demon that never existed. I realize now that I had lost my faith the moment I began to read these scriptures. And yet, I feel no sorrow. Thinking back, I now know that my desire to know the truth was stronger than any faith I had ever been. But I have committed one great sin. I failed to condemn the church for lying to our flock all these years. Why? 
I knew that if I were to share this book with the world, my precious library would be taken from me. And to me, there could be no pain greater, for this library is the only means of slaking my endless thirst for knowledge. My curiosity eclipsed my will to do what was right. Elder Simon wrote that Santa Jorah's demon never existed. But I have seen the dark power of the Zodiac Stone with my own eyes. There is an evil presence at work, something much more sinister than even the High Confessor and his twisted plots. So yeah, that was a thing. And I think that is where we're going to call things for tonight. Like, that's honestly probably one of the best stopping places I could have picked. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be back to SMT tomorrow. And Friday might, emphasis on might, be something special. I'm not sure yet. But, in the meantime... Y'all have an excellent evening, take care, and I will catch you all next time.